Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my plan with me for November 20th through the 26th. I'm planning in my usual Erin Condren 7x9 hourly planner. I'm going to decorate with some gorgeous stuff. This is a kit called Pieces of Fall from Boulder Bond. I have two of the journaling sheets here and I think I'm actually going to pull these into my hourly planner this time. And then the vertical kit, which works with hourly as well. And the colors are gorgeous. And my favorite sticker from the whole kit is this little red bird here. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is, but it's like a little bunting of some kind or a scarlet tanager. See that? So pretty. Then I have this roll of Skinny Washi, which is from Moxie Life, and I think this color works really well. I made a bunch of event stickers looking at my calendar, leaving out piano lessons because I don't teach this week during Thanksgiving break. So let's go ahead and dive in. want to tell you about the discounts that I have for Boulder Bond and Erin Condren as we get started. Down in the video description, you'll find these discounts, but I have for Erin Condren, if you've never bought an Erin Condren planner before and you want to try it, you can get $10 off and that's a referral link. Then for Boulder Bond, for the stickers, you can use my code, which is Sarah15, and that'll get you 15% off. Okay, so this is not what I thought I was gonna do when these stickers came in the mail. I thought I would use the journaling kit over in my Moxie Life Horizontal, which is where I write my memory verse every day. And, but I think I wanna do it differently this time. And I probably won't film setting up the Moxie Life. I might do that on Instagram instead. Let's find the washi strips and put them with this washi tape here. This is like a whole different thing. What am I gonna do? Well, I might actually use these in the Moxie Life. I'm not sure, but I'm feeling like if I bump this floral up against this floral, that might not be the look that I want. So let's just go ahead and put the washi tape down against it and then we'll see how the date covers look. Just kind of frame it out is what I'm trying to go for. Like this. Okay, so while we're doing this, let me tell you that I judged a piano festival this morning and when I was there, one of the piano teachers had brought some snacks for the judges and she brought this really neat stuff that I'd never heard of before. It was called hot pepper berry bacon jam. And that sounds disgusting, but she insisted that I taste it. And the way we did it was we put a little bit of brie on a cracker and then topped it with this hot pepper berry bacon jam. You get it at Fresh Market. It tasted so good. It almost is like a barbecue sauce in a way, more so than a jam. It's not super sweet, but it is, it is somewhat sweet. And it's got a smoky flavor to it, and it's really great with brie. And I bring that up because you might want to, if you need something for people to snack on for Thanksgiving, you might wanna grab some of this and get some brie. I bet it would also be good on cream cheese if you put a block of cream cheese out and then topped it with this stuff. Similar to how a lot of people use red pepper jam, this would just be a different twist on that because I do think there's an element of red pepper jam in it maybe. I think in the ingredients I saw that, but I'm not positive. This looks kind of cute like that. So I don't think we need the, the fat washi. And they also have a variety of it that is just hot pepper bacon jam. That is also good. The reason I know that is because we went to Fresh Market and they didn't have the one that said berry. They just had the hot pepper bacon. It's just as good and it's very similar, but I think I prefer the one with berry in it slightly, but it's not a huge difference. So either one, if your Fresh Market only has one or wherever you find it, then I think either one will be, they're similar. So either one will be fine. I wish that I had found the exact same one that this friend brought to the festival. But anyway, it's it's good. 
All right, this week also, this past week, my seasonal bundle that I ordered, which was the New Year seasonal bundle from Erin Condren, arrived. And I will do like an in-depth discussion of it at some point, but I don't want to blow the surprise for anyone. So you can actually see the surprise item now on the Erin Condren Instagram and they give you some warning. So like they'll say the next slide is going to be the surprise. So if you really want to see it before you get it, you can do it now. But I got the new year one. And then I also won one. I went to a Zoom meeting for Erin Condren affiliates and there was this trivia contest and certain people, I mean, a lot of people got some prizes and I won the Winter Sparkle Bundle, which I haven't seen yet, just the pictures. It hasn't arrived yet, but it's supposed to arrive on the 20th. So I can review sort of two of these bundles for you. The one I won't have is the Self Care Bundle. But if you wanna see everything that's in these bundles, look at the Erin Condren Instagram because they do give away the surprises now. Also this past week, I ordered a puzzle from, and I don't work puzzles. I ordered a puzzle from the Mitford Museum. So if you know my favorite book series, it's the Mitford series by Jan Karen. There's an actual Mitford Museum now, and it's in Hudson, North Carolina, near Blowing Rock. And my husband and I are such big fans that we went to the grand opening of this museum back in, let's say, 2021. It might have been 2020. I can't remember, but I think it was 2021. But anyway, they have a bookstore called Happy Endings Bookstore, and that is the bookstore that's from the series. And they were celebrating their having been open for a couple of years, so they had a 20% off sale. Ordered this puzzle. So why did I order it since I don't, order, <laughs> since I don't work puzzles? Well, where my mom lives, she has a neighbor who works puzzles just like this. I mean, give him um, a couple of days and he's got it worked. So I outsourced it. Don't hate me for that. I mean, I really just wanted the frame puzzle worked and framed on the wall rather than the activity of working the puzzle. I just don't work puzzles. Maybe, maybe I would if I had more time. But anyway, it looks really good. So I'll pop a picture up and show you this worked puzzle. And he even mod podged it for me and he put it in a frame. Isn't that adorable? Isn't it so neat? And I think this guy enjoyed working it for me. And so that was, that was really fun. For my memory verse header, I'm going to take this, put it right underneath here and pair it with this little sticker that I made. And then the memory verse is how long? Not long at all. Not long at all. So it will fit there, no problem. I think I need one more row of this washi tape. Speaking of Mitford and how much we love Mitford, there's a town in Michigan called Harbor Springs. The reason I know this is that there's a live cam in that town. There's actually a few, but there's one that we like to watch that just kind of shows down Main Street in this little town that reminds us so much of what Mitford is like. And they actually put a Christmas tree smack in the middle of Main Street. I mean, the cars just have to work their way around it. So they even have like a hole in the road that is intended for this giant Christmas tree that they bring in every year. So they have brought in the Christmas tree. It was a big deal. We were watching this live stream. I mean, it's not like something you stay glued to. It's like ambiance. You have the live stream of this little town. I guess it's up for security purposes or something. I don't know, but we love it. And so we got so excited when one day we saw the big tree coming in and they were putting it up. Well, I sent a message to the newspaper in that town and asked them when they were going to light the tree. It's going to be Saturday at about 6 p.m. So we want to make sure <laughs> that we turn into this, what most people would consider a very boring live stream on television to watch that tree lighting. Look how cute this combo is for church on Sunday. I've got kind of the same exact thing going on every morning, so this is how I'm going to do it all of these other days. Okay, 
Thanksgiving afternoon. We're going to plan to eat it about three. So I've taken this from the journaling kit and this little square also from the journaling kit. And we're just going to make a little combo like that. And I've got this sort of torn looking washi strip from the journaling kit that I'll put here for when I fill my plan with me and do laundry. Let's get the little clapper forward. In fact, one of the machines just stopped. I always do laundry when I'm filming, so I'm gonna go switch loads and come right back. Gonna pop down a make dinner sticker and unlike a couple of weeks ago, I didn't make eight of these because I realized that there are seven days in a week. So earlier this week, I got this little guy. This is one of those plastic Starbucks cups. I put my Erin Condren silicone sleeve on it, but it's one of those Starbucks plastic cups. They had a deal where you could get one for free if you bought one of the holiday drinks. So I got a pumpkin spice latte and then I got that for free. I think it was just for one day that they did that, but that was fun. Just happened to catch the email where they let people know about that. And also went across the road after the Starbucks to our local Joanne store to see if they were carrying the Erin Condren Inspire collection, which is new, and they don't have it out yet. I think they're just really swamped putting out their Christmas things, and they have not gotten to it yet because I believe somebody told me that she could tell in their computer that they had it in the back. But the thing is, you can also get this stuff at Amazon if you want to try it out, so you can order it and get it right away. But I wanted to see it in person just to see what I thought about it because it's like a, a less expensive option, and it is like for people who are not diehard planner girls, I think the paper's not going to be as great, but the price is so much better that it's going to be probably a really welcome option and an, like an entry level planner for some people who might otherwise just not at all even think about Erin Condren. It's just a very reasonable price point. So that is something that I wanted to see in person, but our Joann's just didn't have it out yet. Then went over to Fresh Market, like I said, because I wanted to get that bacon jam. And I had also gotten an email from Fresh Market saying that they had beef fillets. If you got like the entire fillet, the whole beef fillet, which is a pricey item. But for a special occasion, it's a wonderful thing to have to feed a crowd. So they had them for one day only $14.99 a pound. I know that's really high, but for a beef filet, it's not, it's, it's a good price. So we got that at what they said was $5 less per pound than the usual price. It was just like a one day promotion. Let's set up my three mom days with a little script and a little coffee cup. I made a whole bunch of little grand piano stickers, so more than I need since I'm not teaching piano. I'm just going to put one with practice piano every morning, which falls roughly at seven. I have a lunch date on Tuesday and I think this is really cute. This is from the journaling kit and it says memories and I can just pop those two together. I'm actually using more from the journaling kit than I am from the vertical kit this week. Trash goes out here. Order groceries here. And you know what? I'll probably place this order the night before since it's Thanksgiving week to give them a little more time to put it together for pickup. Because if I were to place it at my usual time, I think we would run it close. And we'll have car care day on Monday, run the car through the car wash and gas up. 
instead of using full boxes, which is what I ordinarily do, I'm gonna save those and put those in my Moxie Life. Maybe I'll use these guys right here. But we have like prep to do for Thanksgiving. We're not hosting this year. We are a backup location should the weather go awry on Thanksgiving, but we are not hosting most likely. So I think the checklist would be nice. This is where piano lessons would normally go, but I don't teach piano this week. So I will have way more time, hopefully, to do things like list my January sticker kits. I think that would be an amazing thing. And clean house, do just things that I enjoy doing around the house. And looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. I don't really know what Thanksgiving prep will entail other than just like shopping and, and cooking, the usual stuff. But since I'm not hosting, I won't have to clean all that much. I'll, I'll clean some just in case we may end up needing to host if the weather goes bad. I'll just do this. But Thanksgiving prep might also be making stickers. And I'll paint my nails before we go to dinner. How about do it here. I have two clean house stickers and I really don't know when I'm going to clean house. So this is a total guess and it won't take that long. Let's put some extra event stickers in the open spots because I know I will be filling this in with things and I might as well have a pretty place to write things down. This week's memory verse is from Mark chapter 8, it's verse 36. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? That's going to go right here. And here is a slow motion flyover for you so you can see all of the Boulder Bond stickers up close. They're gorgeous. My discount code is Sarah15 if you decide you want to order from Boulder Bond. And what I like to do at the end of my weekly plan with me is close with prayer. I've written a prayer that is available as a download in my Facebook group, Plan Sarah Plans Planner Circle. If you want to get in that group, you're welcome to let me know and just do answer all three of the questions so that I can let you in. This prayer is in the file area, and I invite you to join me in prayer if you would like to. Heavenly Father, giver of all good gifts, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ to offer our praise and gratitude for all that you've seen fit to do in, through, and for us. As believers in Christ, and having accepted his gift of forgiveness for our sins, we are privileged to be counted among your children. Give us childlike hearts that are free of worry and care because we trust that you have everything under control. You know us inside and out, and still you love us. Make us who you designed us to be and allow us to grow in faith, integrity, wisdom, and truth. Open our eyes to see the good gifts that you give every day. In the darkest, most dreary moments, may we search for the light of your love and find it. Help us to replace grumbling with gratitude at every opportunity and make us joyful because of a constant remembrance of what you've done for us. It is by grace alone that we are saved through faith and the faith comes from you, so we can't boast about it. Guide our steps and light our path 
so that we are always walking in truth and with purpose. Correct the ideas we have that are tainted by false principles or by trendy philosophies. Show us where we have built thought systems based on shifting sands instead of on unchanging truth. Thank you for never changing. Thank you for being our solid rock on which to stand. Thank you for the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Make these traits that characterize us at home, at work, when others see us, and when no one does. Help us to commit our work to you and to do it with a glad heart. We lift up our family and friends who need your help in spiritual as well as physical matters. May all roads point them to you, and may your loving mercy come to their aid in the way you see they need. Tear down systems of evil in the world and replace them with righteousness. May the wrong fail and the right prevail. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, that's going to do it for this plan with me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me during this video, whether you planned or just listened and hung out and did other things. I wish each of you a very happy Thanksgiving week, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.